welcome to this episode of you know our journey through mathematics okay so in this lesson what we are going to do is you're going to learn how to solve quadratic equation using three different methods okay so solve the quadratic equation using one method of completing the squares factorization method and the quadratic met formula okay so if you look at the quadratic equation we have down here x squared plus 6x plus 7 indeed if you go through the factorization it's going to be very difficult yeah, yeah but then I'll, I'll show you a way okay um the, the method that we we'll use for the factorization aspect it will, it will come from the method of completing the square that's why i prefer that we start with the method of completing the squares first before you come to the factorization okay all right so let's start so the first part method of completing x squared. Now I have this this as my quadratic equation x squared plus six x plus seven equals zero. Now to complete the squares of this, what you have to do is first you divide the coefficient of x by two. So the coefficient of x here is six. When you divide by two, you have three. So you write your equation back. Okay. Then you add. When you divide the coefficient of s by 2, you get 3, right? So this 3, we are going to deal with it. We are going to use it. So you add the 3 squared and you subtract the 3 squared. Okay, plus 7 equals 0. And with this, you've actually not done anything to the equation. When I sum these two, they'll go to 0 and I'll get back this. Okay, so it's more or less like you creating and destroying something. Okay, but... Um, this side of the equation looks some way because something quadratic trinomials okay so if i have something like this if i have a s squared or a x all squared plus this um, plus two a b x plus b squared then if i want to factorize this this whole can be factorized as the x plus um is ax actually sorry um word y let me clean it for you it's ax actually not just x so it will be ax plus b all squared now if i expand this i'll have as all squared plus 2abx okay then plus b squared yes yeah, so when i have something like this then i have i can say that it will expand to this form so now let's compare this to what i've written up there okay so here this s squared so i'm rewriting the whole of this quadratic equation again but i will just try to make sure that the first three terms i mean this side looks like what we have here okay so what we can do is we write it like one times x o squared plus two times one times three x okay then plus three squared or plus the yes three squared yeah okay um let me write it to three squared then minus three squared plus seven equals zero now if you compare this part to what i have up here you realize that a here is 1 in terms of the quadratic trinomials and then B here is 3 and it's satisfying the same condition we have here okay then we can say that this one will factorize into then 1 times x a x so 1 times x will be x then plus our b our b here is what 3 so 3 then all squared minus 3 squared is 9 plus 7 is equal to 0 okay now we have x plus 3 all squared minus 2 is equal to 0 and this will imply that we have x plus 3 all squared equals 2 so now if we want to solve this we'll solve it in using square root okay method of the square roots approach so x plus 3 you find square root of both sides this will be equal to plus or minus the square root of 2 Okay, square root of 2 will give you plus or minus square root of 2. So now x is equal to minus 3 plus or minus square root of 2. 
so x can be 3 minus 3 plus square root of 2 or minus 3 minus square root of 2 i hope you understood this so this is how you go about using the method of completing the squares yes at this moment at this point some people will decide to take this to the other side and then instead of minus 3 here they will just add it to be like plus at the other side okay so instead of it to be here they will just come bring it and the 7 to this side already but then you can go straight with this systematic approach and you'll be fine okay now the second part which you are supposed to solve this by method of factorization i'll continue that because when you look at the quadratic equation is s squared plus 6x plus 7 equals 0 if you want to go by the normal method of factorization you'll not be able to solve this yet like it will be very difficult to solve it but then if i take the completion of squares this part at some point we have something like this minus 2 equals 0 in fact if you expand this you get back this equation but we got the second part from the method of completing the squares okay so with this we can then introduce the factorization method here now we can let um, some y be equal to x plus 3 and this will imply that we have our quadratic equation to be y squared because the whole of s plus 3 minus 2 equals 0 now to use the factorization method here i have to make sure that i have a y term here okay minus 2 is equal to 0 okay um it's equal to zero now with the factorization method i'm supposed to get two terms here that um when i multiply so i have to just first of all multiply the coefficient of this okay with this one and i will have negative two okay so to do the factorization method if you have a s squared or it can be y plus b s plus c then you first of all have to multiply this and this and you have um a c then you look for factors that when you multiply you get ac but when you add you get b so let's say you can get factors like p and q that if you multiply you have to get ac but then if you add you have to get b then use them okay now i think you're okay with that that's why i didn't explain that method so to get that here we have to look for you have to multiply this one and then this negative two when you multiply them you get negative two okay and then you have to get factors that when you multiply you get negative 2 but then when you add you get 0 and that is root of 2 and negative root of 2 when you multiply these two you get negative 2 but then when you add you get 0 okay so this would then imply that we'll have uh this thing to um, let me make it straight our quadratic equation to look like y squared plus root of 2y minus root of 2y then minus 2 is equal to 0. So now you just have to group like terms, okay? So you have y squared plus root of 2y minus in one bracket, okay? So minus into um, root of 2, then y plus 2 equals 0. So if I factor y out here, I'll have y in the first bracket, y plus root 2. A minus this one to two can come out so you have root two out y plus root two now if you realize if i expand this i'll get this bracket back okay so now this is equal to zero now with factorization we know how to go about this you have y minus root two then y plus root two all of this equal to zero so the first part is y minus root 2 is equal to 0 or y plus root 2 is equal to 0 so you have y equals root of 2 or y equals minus root of 2 so now i have these but remember we are, we are solving for x but x is equal to um oh sorry y is equal to from here y is equal to x plus 3 meaning x will be equal to um negative 3 plus y okay so when y equals when y is equal to root 2 x will be equal to minus 3 plus root 2 and when when y is equal to negative root 2 x is equal to minus 3 minus root 2 
so in effect you get the same answer as x is equal to minus 3 plus or minus root 2 okay so now you see the factorization method has also given us the same answer but then in this way we have to go using the method of completing the square to get to this point and then introduce another variable so that we can use our factorization method because we can use it at this point okay now let's go to next one the next one is um we'll have to use the quadratic um the third one or the c the quadratic formula and the quadratic formula is given by if i have a s squared plus b x plus c then i can solve this using the quadratic formula um, is equal to is that using the quadratic formula x is equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a so here if you compare this to the question that we have f squared plus 6x plus 7 is equal to 0 then our x for this particular the solution for this is minus b and then b here is what comparing it to this b here is 6 so minus b you have minus 6 plus or minus the square root of b square which is 36 minus 4 times a a is 1 okay the coefficient here is 1 then c is also 7 so 4 times 7 times 1 which is 28 and then all over 2 times a a is 1 so you have 2 now you simplify this and you have x is equal to minus x minus x plus or minus the square root of um 8 over 2 but the square root of 8 is also given us so x is equal to minus 6 plus or minus 2 root of 2 over 2 now you can use calculator to point square root of 8 and you get 2 root of 2 or if you want to understand root 8 is the same as root of 4 times 2 and that will give you 2 root 2 okay now if i go ahead and continue you realize um i can divide the two I can divide both of these numerators by the 2. Okay, so I have x is equal to minus 6 over 2 plus or minus 2, 2 over 2. And then x is equal to minus 3 plus or minus 2. So, like um, you see, we've been able to use all three ways of solving quadratic equation to solve one particular question. Um, I just wanted to show you how you can use, especially with the um, factorization method how you can use that to solve questions that you don't get the um, the factors directly okay especially when when the answer involve root, roots okay so I, I think this is pretty cool and then I hope that you enjoyed and you've learned something new here okay so thank you and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed if you have subscribed to thank you share my video like it and comment as well okay see you next time